everybody, it's Marcy. I'm hoping this is gonna be okay right now. We're having a massive dog romp in the other room. You might be hearing it soon. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start anyway. So I've actually sort of already started because today I wanted to do some zucchini sticks. Um, we got out the air fryer again because Beck, one of Becca's favorite things is fried green tomatoes. So we, when she got home, I got some green tomatoes and they were starting to not be green anymore. So we decided we better make them last night. So the air fryer's out again, so I thought we might as well use it. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I did. Uh, it's sort of, you'll see, it's sort of already done. But um, the first thing to do this is, I'll turn you down so you can see. I cut up a zucchini. Um, I like them in wedges. I mean, you can cut them however you want. If you want to cut them smaller or whatever, that's fine. We'll go ahead and just leave these like that. Um, just wash them and cut them in cute. I mean, you can do, some places do, um, you know, do them in circles. That's fine too. So all you need to do is I put a little bit of flour in some of our everyday blend in here. And I'm going to just toss the zucchini sticks right in there. I put the everyday blend in. I didn't use salt or pepper, I used that. Because uh, with the cocoa in there, it, it uh, cocoa's a natural flavor enhancer, so you don't need as much. So it's really all you're gonna need. Cut down on your salt and sugar, that's great. And you know I love cooking with Ziploc bags, even though I am like so environmentally I try to be environmentally friendly. Hi, Heather. <laughs> you are very fun. Um, okay. Who else did they just say? Oh, Alice. Oh, how are you? Are you uh, boy, a friend of mine who is a uh, party planner is on. Things are not great in the party planning industry right now. Okay, so we're going to take the um, zucchini out, and then I'm going to put them in another bag because guess what, that's one less thing to um, have to wash again. And this bag has um, egg and a little tiny bit of water in it. Just, you know, if you are a cook, it's an egg wash. If you're not a cook, it's still an egg wash, but it'll just give it a coating so that things will stick better to it. Um, then, let's see, we cut up that, we got this going. Then I'm gonna take these, and I'm actually need to add more of this. What I am breading it with is our white chocolate cornbread mix, which by the way is gluten-free, which I destroyed by dipping it in um, flour first. But if you are gluten-free, you can do this also. Just use uh, something gluten-free to dip it in. You can use, um, I mean, you could even dip it in this first too. So I'm coating it with the white chocolate cornbread and some panko breadcrumbs. Again, look at the brand. Okay, I'm having to lower my expectations on brands. And the only reason I'm using the panko is because it gives it like that, um, uh, it doesn't really give it a whole lot of flavor, but it gives it that different texture. Okay, so I'm gonna mix those together. And then I'm going to take, uh, Yikes, this is gonna be disgusting. The egg-coated pieces of zucchini out. Uh, okay, and toss them right in there. And I might even need to add some more to that. And let's get the eggs out of the way. So this is the cornbread and panko crumb. Really, for like the zucchini, you don't need so much, but as you're tossing it, you know, sort of try and separate them, because you don't want like only part of it covered. Oops, there's another one in there that's not separated. Okay, now I think they're all separated, and that's it, they're ready to go. And anybody who was uh, talking to me about air fryers the other day, and I found these things, and I seriously have had these for I don't know how long. I didn't know what they were. They're parchment paper for air fryers. So I put one in there, and I'm using it for the first time. We'll see how that works. Then when these come out, which the ones that I already started, oh, those will be good. The ones I already started should be done in a couple minutes. Um, when they come out, there's a couple things I'm going to do. I can either... 
I can either do, um, I'm going to dip the, sorry, the honey sesame sauce. I'm going to use that for dipping. Or I might even do a sour cream with Charlie. With <laughs> green chili hot sauce. So having a puppy around with my dog is hysterical because she doesn't know what she's barking at most of the time. My dog will bark if somebody's walking by with a dog and then the puppy like runs from window to window because she just decides she has to bark. Right, Heather, it adds a good crunchy. Okay, so, um, so that's it for this. Let's see, we got a couple more minutes on that. While we're doing that, I want to talk to you about a couple oh, I saw the cutest thing online. Because um, this really, I mean, it's not something that's been wonderful and everything, but it's something you will remember, your kids will remember. So if you want to do something with kids, a really cool thing I saw was cut out um, a handprint of everyone who's at your house. Uh, you know, trace it on paper and cut it out. Do everyone a different color. And then, you know, put the biggest hand first and so on till the smallest hand and put on it when the world stayed, wait, I, got it. I didn't want to mess up this quote. When the world stayed apart, this was my favorite place to be. Oh my gosh, that like makes me want to cry. But it's so nice. It's because um, you do need to remember it. <laughs> as much as we don't want to remember it, it's an important thing that happened in all of our lives. And it's also an important thing that's going to be in history so um, that the other place and I, I did not get to um, post about any of my friends today I feel like the world's worst friend right now but I will get back to it next week it's just that with the end of the month and everything I've been trying to catch up getting recipes out to all the people who bought things from me um, it, and because our shipping has been so phenomenal I closed a party um, yesterday morning, and some of the people had put in their orders the day before. They've already gotten it, so I'm trying to catch up on getting them recipes, because I know when you get the products, you want to start with it right away. Um, so I've been trying to get recipes out. Um, but during this time, there is another thing that I hate to even talk about, but um, there are people who are stuck at home who are not in the best situations. There's a place called the Child Center that helps kids who have been abused or hurt somehow. And unfortunately, there are kids out there who are stuck in home with their abusers and it's a tense time for everyone. So if you feel like making a donation someplace, I'm gonna put that up in a couple of days. The Child Center is an amazing place. And I know that they work with um, Champs Dog Assistance because they bring the dogs in because the kids can sit there with the dogs not be not feel judged just have somebody like there for them in the dog um but i mean the child center does so much more so they're a great place that if you're looking for a place to help out right now that would be fabulous let me grab a plate um let's see what does it say i think we got one no, nope, a couple more minutes, and then that'll be done. Um, what else do I want to say? I hope you guys are going to have a great weekend. Mike is actually coming in town. Um, we're not going to be close to see him, but we're going to meet someplace and have dinner, like, far apart from each other because um, he's just surrounded by COVID every day and doesn't want to get any of us sick, which we don't want either. <laughs> but um, it's been going on almost two months now since I – since – We've like touched. There was one time we met at a parking lot to trade off some stuff we needed in Chicago or St. Louis. Um, and the way it looks, it's going to be much better. I uh, again don't want to get preachy or anything, but please, um, this is a. I used to always tell my kids if they were having a hard time in middle school or high school, this is like such a little tiny bit of your life. Um, you know, the four years of high school is a little blurb hopefully in your whole life so don't let that like bring you down this is an even smaller blurb if we have to stay on quarantine longer to make sure that people get better I, I mean I don't want any of my family sick I don't want any of your family sick if my staying if I can stay in an extra month to keep your mother or grandmother or sister healthy I would absolutely do it um, 
please listen to the medical professionals. Other countries are not having the issues we are, but um, listen to the medical professionals. Unless, you know, you want your politicians to suddenly be your doctors and they say it's, you know, fine to go out or whatever, then if you get sick, I would go to them and ask to be treated. Because, um, obviously, you think they do know more than the doctors. Um, but just be kind. And I know there are people out there hurting. And somebody in one of my groups today told the story about how the poorest person we know is richer than the richest person in some countries. So, you know, I, I joke with my kids about, like, you know, things like this. Like, I even joke here. Oh, I didn't, I had to get great value panko crumbs instead of the brand I like. That is absolutely third world, our first world problems. Um, so just keep that in mind. And I really want this to be finished for you. So up oh, here we go. Okay, so let's see how these came out. Oh, one thing I forgot. See, I made mistakes. Um, they look great, but the other thing I found, if you want to get that uh, thin uh, fried look, if you spray a little bit of Pam on it. But, but now look at how easy this cleanup's going to be because I found those... Um, those rounds. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a good weekend. I'm so excited I get to see Mike um, and be kind to one another. Bye.